After three years, Squid Game, Netflix's top show, is finally making its comeback. Before the big premiere, let's check out how the cast from the first season is handling all the fame. <laughs> Who's not ready to start a family? Who's keeping their wife a secret? And what insecurities does fan favorite Wee Ha Joon struggle with? <laughs> all right, let's begin the game. Ho Yeon as Kang Sebyok. After the show, the actress behind Player 067 became an online sensation, amassing nearly 18 million Instagram followers. She's now a global ambassador for Louis Vuitton, Adidas, Lancome, and has strutted the runways for big names like Burberry, Miu Miu, and Chanel. This year, Hoyan starred in Disclaimer, marking her first ever English-speaking role. And as a bonus, she got to work alongside one of her idols, Kate Blanchett. I recently have seen a lot of Kate Blanchett's 90s red carpet looks, and she's one of the coolest person in the world. Love you! Hoyeon is now gearing up for her feature film debut in The Governesses. Despite her incredible success, the humble star still calls herself a newbie in the acting world. But like, it was just my first job, the Squid Game, so I was quite, you know, like, what's going on? Interestingly, 30-year-old Hoyeon has a deep love for all things Korean, especially her country's traditional cuisine. I always find Korean restaurant, even though I'm traveling different countries, but I like food. I okay. just like any kind of food. Oh, and she's absolutely obsessed with French fries. Any hotel I go, first meal at the hotel, it has to be come with French fries. This actress is also hooked on iced Americanos, sipping at least two cups a day to keep herself awake. Because, as she says, she can literally fall asleep anywhere. Another source of joy for Hoyeon is her two beloved cats, Happier and Mora. She even keeps their pictures as her phone wallpaper. Hoyeon has been in a relationship with actor and singer Lee Dong Hui since 2015, but recent reports suggest the pair have split. Even so, they've decided to stay on good terms as colleagues. And speaking of connections, she still keeps in touch with her Squid Game co-stars, staying particularly close to Lee Jung Jai and the actor we're about to introduce next. Anupam Tripathi as Ali Abdul. He portrayed an immigrant from Pakistan, a role he relates to deeply. No story is complete without us as immigrants. In real life, Anu Palm moved from his home in India to South Korea to study at the Korea National University of Arts. So I got a scholarship in Korea, came without knowing the language. <laughs> and then it, like life started. I, I took it as a new chapter, I, I can say. And this year, he proudly earned his master's degree in acting. I dedicate this achievement of mine to my father, Sri R. S. Tripathi. He would have been so proud that his son finally finished his studies. I know he is always watching me from somewhere. Love you, miss you, and always wanted to say to you, thank you, Papa. Even while studying, Tripathi found time for acting gigs. He played Prince Samir in the Korean drama King the Land, and more recently starred in the hit Netflix India series, IC814. The Kandahar Hijack, based on the real-life 1999 hijacking of an Indian Airlines flight. To get into character of a raw agent, he even visited the Indian embassy in Korea to study the behavior of officials. I am feeling blessed and amazed for getting this much recognition and appreciation for my very first work in Homeland in Hindi, the actor shared on Instagram. Currently, the 36-year-old star is diving into a UK short film, taking on double duty as both actor and executive producer. Tripathi is laser-focused on his career for now, saying he'll think about his love life down the road. But what's going on with the next Squid Game player? Park Hai-soo as Cho Sang-woo. His character was one of the few to make it to the Squid Game finale, and since then, the actor's career has only soared. In 2022, he appeared in three Netflix series, Yaksha, Ruthless Operations, Money Heist, Korea Joint Economic Zone, and Drug Saints. Park even hosted an episode of Korea's Saturday Night Live. And this year, he's back in the theater, starring in Simon Stone's production of The Cherry Orchard, which has received glowing reviews. In addition, it was recently announced that the 43-year-old actor is set to make his Hollywood debut in Amazon's upcoming spy series, Butterfly. Currently, Park is juggling several Korean projects, but he still makes time for his family. In 2019, he married a private figure whose name he keeps under wraps. All that's known is that she's six years younger than him, and they met through a mutual friend. After a year of dating, they tied the knot. Then, in 2021, while filming Squid Game, they welcomed their son. But not everyone needs a family to find happiness. Gong Yu as recruiter. 
Yes, this actor is open about the fact that he has no plans to get married because he doesn't feel mature enough for it yet. I might come off as caring, but I can be a bit distant and somewhat dry. More that 4 million fans can't get enough of Gong on Instagram and love keeping up with his every move. Recently, they were all abuzz about Yu's new look. He is now rocking a textured waves hairstyle. Continue to hydrate your hair. This actor has a sharp eye for fashion and even made an exclusive appearance at Louis Vuitton's spring-summer 2025 show in Paris. Working with a brand that shared those moments with me is quite meaningful personally. At 45, it seems this heartthrob is still single, with his busy schedule taking up most of his time. Recently, Yu starred in one of the Netflix's most anticipated K-dramas, The Trunk. He also made a special appearance in Wonderland, a South Korean sci-fi romantic drama. And the best news? Gong's character is set to return for Squid Game Season 2. Would you like to play a game with me? When he's off the clock, Gong enjoys hanging out with his cat, relaxing at his holiday home on Jeju Island, or visiting his theater house in Hong Kong. He's also a gym enthusiast, just like his colleague, Wee Ha Jun as Huang Jun Ho. In recent years, he has become much more focused on his physical appearance. Once known for his slender frame, the actor now regularly boxes and trains to stay in top shape. I strongly felt I could change my shape. Everyone I met said, hey, why have you gotten so big? Hajun is one of Korea's biggest social media stars, boasting more than 10 million followers. While he stays tight-lipped about his personal life, fans can't stop gushing about how great he is with kids. They've even made adorable videos about it. Ready? Yeah. Wai has represented numerous luxury brands, including Prada, Porsche, Johnny Walker, Valentino, and more. In 2023, he starred in Disney Plus's The Worst of Evil and Netflix's Guy Young Song Creature. Most recently, he landed his first leading role in the romantic drama series The Midnight Romance in Hagwon. It's a melodrama with tender vibes. And here's some more exciting news. We will also be back for Squid Game 2. While his role as a guard was more of a cameo in the first season, the actor promises fans will see much more of him this time around. My character has his own story in here, so I think season two will be even more interesting, allowing his character to develop a little deeper. The next actor had high hopes of reprising his role, but fate had something else in store. Oh Yong Su as Oh Il Nam. After his Golden Globe win in 2022, he seemed ready to light up the screen with more iconic performances. We haven't got the scripts. We have some hints from director Hong, but we haven't got the script yet. However, shortly after Squid Game, Oh Young Soo faced allegations of historical sexual misconduct. This spring, he was found guilty and received an eight-month suspended prison sentence. Following the accusations, South Korea's Ministry of Culture removed several advertisements featuring him, and many of his images and posts were taken down. The makers of the South Korean movie about family even announced they would replace all his scenes with another actor. Meanwhile, Squid Game's lead keeps amazing us with his endless achievements. Lee Jung Jae as Seong Gi Hun. The winner of the show's first season is proving to be a real life champion, too. Lee has been named one of the most impactful Asians on the A100 list and was even crowned GQ Korea's Man of 2024. On top of that, he received the Jimguan Order of Cultural Merit from President Yoon Suk Yol, the highest honor for contributions to culture and the arts. Wow. And this comes despite actor's recent statement. Acting was never my dream. I thought it was a job I could never imagine. After Squid Game, Lee made his directorial debut with the spy film Hunt. Last year, he also joined the Star Wars universe in the series The Acolyte. At first, when I heard that I was very surprised, I was most curious about what role I would be playing. Beyond acting, Yung Jai serves as a global ambassador for luxury brands like Gucci. He also owns a chain of restaurants in Seoul, manages a real estate business, and co-founded the entertainment label Artist Company with fellow actor Young Woo Sung in 2016. With such a packed schedule, does Lee have time for his personal life? Absolutely. He's been in a relationship with Lim Se Young for nearly 10 years. Coming from the Daesung Group Empire, she has two children with her ex-husband, Samsung Vice Chairman Lee Jae Young. The couple often graces the red carpet together, and we can't wait to see them at the premiere of Squid Game Season 2. Do you think Seong Gi-hun will make it out alive this time? And which character were you rooting for the most in the first season? Share your thoughts in the comments.